Hi, my name's Kirk with the EG, and I'm going to show you how to assemble the cube shaker for Shake That City. First, punch out all the shaker parts from the punch board. I'm going to set aside the construction variant tiles for now, but you can punch these out as well and put them into a bag for later. I'm going to speed this up a little bit as I punch out all the chads. Save the mini building tiles in a bag in the very rare case that you have a game that runs out of regular building tiles. These can be used as spares. To start, place the large base piece, numbered 1, on the table and face the arrows to your left. Next, fold the four sides up at the hinged cuts carefully to pre-bend them. Lay the base back on the table and flatten it out a little bit. Find the piece number two and lay it into the base so that the arrows are all facing to your left, the same direction as the base. Slightly fold up the two sides of the base to line up the tabs of piece two with the bottom slots of the base, but don't fold the sides all the way up yet. Find the slider piece marked number three and face the arrows to your left, the same direction as all the other pieces. Then slip the wide edge of the slider into the slot all the way. Carefully slide the thinner back edge of the slider into the back slot of the base. Check to make sure the tabs of the number two piece are still aligned with our holes, then fold the sides almost all the way up. Take the top piece with the Shake That City logo and position the cube window to your left over the arrows of the previous pieces. It's easiest to slide the front and back tabs in first, making sure the slider and inner bottom piece are still aligned, then fold up the two sides up, lining up the last tabs to their holes. Check the fit all around and you're ready to add the rubber bands. Wrap two standard size rubber bands around the whole assembly, fitting them into the four triangular slots. Then pull the rubber bands down and slip them into the two slots of the slider. Now we're ready to add some cubes and start shaking. Open your bag of cubes and dump them on top of the shaker, then push them all into the cube window and give it a few shakes. It's better to keep the shaker on the table and shake it from side to side rather than up and down. You might lose some cubes that way. After a good shake, keep the cube shaker on the table and push its slider all the way in, then fully release the slider. Note this little move I make before lifting the shaker. If you slide the shaker right, then away from you, it helps line up the cubes in a nicer pattern. Make sure you have released the slider fully before lifting the shaker so the cubes don't fall out the bottom. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to the designers Mads and Core, and we all hope that you enjoy Shake That City.